Let's get on to the, the media issues of the week. There's a ripping yarn today that a reporter from Channel 7, Matt Doran is his name. So Seven sent him across to the other side of the world, right, to interview the singer Adele. <laughs> but he hasn't listened to her album, so she says you can't use the interview. It's extraordinary that Seven would give her company or her the power to veto any interview they film. It is extraordinary, Chris, but I must say, uh, look, Matt seems like a lovely bloke, but heaven help us, do your homework. <laughs> uh, there's a long flight over to London. Put, put your earbuds in and listen to her album. It's not that difficult. Read her books, you know, read interviews with her. It's basic journalism 101. And unfortunately for Matt, this is going to haunt him as being known as the journalist that didn't do his research. It's very unfortunate. But I've got to say, Chris, when, you know, you're in that luxury position that the company uh, allows you to be the chosen journalist to fly over the other side of the world to interview one of the biggest music stars globally... You need to do your homework. Oh, I think that's right. I don't think it's too much to expect on a long flight to uh, actually listen to an album. And uh, and she has done a brilliant cover of a Bob Dylan song, so uh, at least some of the music uh, is, is worth listening to. But I do want to show you something else. I don't know whether you're an Adele fan or not, but I just noticed this today, and she was doing a function where a lot of people were sort of praising her and talking about uh, her, her many great achievements. And she was asked to speak about whether she ever had a teacher who had really inspired her. And she referred back to a teacher she'd had way back in her primary school days, I think, a teacher she'd only had for one year. And uh, have a look at uh, what unfolded. She's here tonight. There you go. The, the Matt Doran doesn't do his basic research for an interview. Now you've got me doing, you know, teary-eyed uh, catch-ups with Adele on the show. There we go. <laughs> but it is extraordinary that apparently under this deal, Seven uh, filmed the interview with Adele, but her management or her company can pull it if they don't like it. Now, they didn't like that he hadn't seen the album after he did the interview. Uh, I'm just surprised that media organisations hand over that power to the interviewer, the interviewee. Oh, absolutely, Chris. I think that's a concern that journalists are put under these tight restrictions now that you must do X, Y and Z to secure interviews with big names such as music stars. And obviously this was the case with Adele. She uh, was upset when Matt said, oh, I'm surprised that he admitted he hadn't listened to her album. Uh, and it ended very badly. I mean, it was a trip to England that ended up he's coming home empty-handed. I mean, very embarrassing for Seven, very embarrassing for Matt. And I'm sure he's learned a very tough lesson. At least he was honest, I suppose, as you say, with that answer. Just briefly, you've talked about the project's ratings before. You're saying without Lisa Wilkinson, we're actually doing better. We had a story in the Australian media section today, Chris, showing that the ratings have gone up since uh, Lisa's been absent from the program for a couple of weeks. Look, I'm not overly surprised. Lisa uh, is not flavour of the month. She had that train wreck book launch. Uh, you know, there were holes in her story. She thought she could come out and make all these uh, claims about her gender pay gap. Uh, again, there were holes in that. Turned out she was paid more than Carl. Uh, it's been a disastrous time for her and I think she'll be glad when the year's ended.